was a big Xbox dude. No matter what they show, bruh, is gonna poop on Xbox. Was a big Xbox dude. Did Xbox devs infiltrate uh, PlayStation? So Xbox is important. Was a big Xbox, Xbox dude. Devs have Why did definitely he have to infiltrated. Just leave? I said it was an emergency. You Xbox you players are Xbox absolutely dude. freaking heinous. That you infiltrated PlayStation. Was a big Xbox and try to give us these games. Xbox players Xbox are dude. sick in the head, bro. I'm personally disgusted uh, by the state of play. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, indeed. As the intro shows and the thumbnail shows, this one features the amazing Lucas and alongside him, MBG. After last week's piss poor Sony state of play, they're both mad and salty about the lackluster lineup of games they had to show and that Sony had no first party games to show. All they had to show was PSVR 2 stuff, which Lucas definitely wasn't interested in. Some of the games to me looked interesting, but VR is something I'm not willing to spend £600 on or thereabouts, however much it costs. With that being said, Sony didn't show anything new or noteworthy in that show at all. Suicide Squad looks absolute garbage. They decided to make that game a live service game, ruining a franchise that, which was once amazing, which is the Arkham series. The Batman Arkham series are some of my favorite games of all time. They were fantastic games. And if you haven't played them, I suggest you go ahead and play those instead of playing Suicide Squad because live service online only doesn't really interest me. They just killed a potential fantastic game there. And in other news, From Software have announced Elden Ring DLC, which is something I've got to look forward to. These ponies, all they look forward to is the great big AAA games that Sony make continuously. The story driven, third person action over the shoulder games that, that they all love for some weird reason. They don't want to try new games. The game I'm anticipating most for this year comes out next week, which is Wall on Fallen Dynasty. I should have recorded footage from the demo. I really enjoyed my time with, with both demos that came out. I tried the PC version, the optimization wasn't great. Yeah, I'm gonna buy on the PC anyway because mods will fix everything. And with that being said, let's get on with the main feature. Are you 46 N2 Ray? Remember 18 months you're saying MBG Dreamcast guy mentioned you and did not know you used to play Xbox. He thought you were only a Sony fan. Interesting, yeah. <laughs> What a great start to the show. Dreamcast guy goes ahead and calls out MBG for being an Xbox guy. Now you can tell the show's gonna be quite fun. I mean that's that's kind of understandable. I don't I, I think by this point in time most people probably wouldn't necessarily be aware that, you know, I, I was a big Xbox dude. Oh trust me, MBG. All of us guys that follow you ponies, just for the salt know that you switch sides quite often whatever suits you best we make it our job to know what your past is like because it makes it more funny psvr2 games revealed apparently from partners not from sony which is i don't know man sony seems to really want to avoid doing anything first party it's kind of insane but uh five psvr2 games that are set to come out this year i'll be honest i have very low expectations for this i'm not expecting any major triple a games he keeps telling himself this hoping that they will show something massive from sony something like spider-man 2 maybe wolverine he's already coping before the state of plays even started that's the problem with a lot of these video game publishers is they, they want to have a successful live service game. Can't really blame them when you see how much money that the successful ones make, but I feel like it's like kind of risky, you know? You gotta admit, if Sony can pull off a good successful live service game, such as Fortnite, Call of Duty Warzone, I mean, fair play. I will look forward to playing it, but I don't think they're gonna beat out those massive successful live service games because people just go back to playing them they'll try the new thing and go no it's not as good as what i was playing then just go back to what they they used to but i really do hope sony can pull off a good multiplayer game i'll look forward to trying out i'm trying really hard not to be that person you know i'm trying not to be that person that like oh you know have zero expectations uh basically saying this state of play is gonna suck 
I'm trying not to be that person. Are you sure about that? Oh, I don't think they're gonna show anything good. Uh, I don't expect anything great from this one. Don't lie. <laughs> Preemptive coping before the show. <laughs> It is fun to watch. <laughs> we are going the longest amount of time that Sony's ever went without a proper full-blown showcase. You are coping, coping and seething. You just can't accept what you're seeing. And their last two stated plays were great. They were very good. Um, but they still... Here's what it boils down to, guys. Here's what it boils down to. Sony refuses to show anything from their studios well mbg they might not show anything because they don't have enough to show what's the point in showing a game that's half cooked and it looks like a buggy mess just be patient and wait until they have a decent trailer or decent amount of gameplay footage nobody wants to see a buggy mess on screen that's nothing to be excited for and this is what's driving people insane because it's like this is what we care about most. We want to see something, anything, for the love of God, please, from PlayStation Studios. And uh, I'll be honest, that's not happening at this state of play. It's not. And, and I, I can't help but just automatically feel like, well, that's kind of disappointing. You know, like, we're getting third-party games, indie games, we're getting third-party PSVR 2 games, and we're... we're <laughs> I just want to point this out too, and I, I know I sound like I'm being harsh, but I just, I gotta, I gotta get it out. We are about to watch a 15 minute deep dive on a superhero game. If Sony exclusives is all you want, then you shouldn't be praying for so much. Honest to God, they don't bring out games like they used to in the PlayStation 2 days. And now indie games are taking over the space. That's what I play most of the time these days. Indie games are fantastic. You should be excited for those more than anything. I've been playing Grime, which is the footage I'm probably using in the background. And that is a fantastic indie game. Waiting for these massive AAA games, if that's all you're excited for, then your console's just gonna be collecting dust for most of the year. Like, why are we not, why can't we see Spider-Man? Why won't Sony show Spider-Man? Why can't we get a new first party game, man? MBG is inhaling an immense amount of hopium here. So let's go towards the end of the show. Let's see what he thinks there. I, I am in shock and awe right now. Not in a good way. All right, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm more disappointed with right now. I, I'm trying to determine, like, am I more disappointed in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? Or am I more disappointed in in, in that this is, this is how Sony wants to kick off 2023? Um, look. Good night. Good night. But I have to be totally honest in how I feel right now. And I feel like this was just kind of unbelievably disappointing from start to finish. I, I don't. I, I don't tune into state of plays like this expecting a showcase. Okay? Like, I don't expect, like, Sony to come out and be like, Sony, show me, like, five first-party games. Show me your entire slate. I don't. I really, really don't. It's amazing to me how these ponies get so mad that Sony doesn't show what they want them to show. And the amount of coping he does saying that he doesn't expect Sony to show these massive first-party titles is absolutely hilarious. He definitely goes in there hoping and praying that Sony show every first party studio showing a brand new game that they possibly could so that's enough of mbg for now because this video is dragging on way too long i'm gonna go for the main main feature don't lie to yourselves you've all come here you've seen him on the thumbnail and you thought i want to see lucas so let's go and see what the amazing lucas had to say about this show let's go xbox i hope you all are taking notes bruh xbox i really do hope you're taking notes all right i hope xbox is taking notes because no matter what they show, bruh, it's gonna poop on Xbox. We already know that. No matter what they show, it's gonna poop on Xbox. We already know that, fam. We already know that. That's that's uh, that's just uh, facts at this moment. Just facts. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Oh, 
already pooping on Xbox. <laughs> Lucas always does this. He falls into his own trap, hyping up Sony so much, and then shitting on Xbox, saying, oh, Xbox guys are going to be so mad. <laughs> and in the end, it all falls apart for him. I absolutely love watching it from start to finish just to see the disaster Lucas has to put up with. <laughs> Didn't you get done playing Xbox game, Hi-Fi Rush? Uh, that's a PC game, there's a difference. It's not an exclusive Xbox game. Oh, so when an Xbox game is not exclusive to the Xbox, it's different, but when a Sony game gets ported to the PC, it's still a Sony game. The logic here completely baffles me. Did Xbox devs infiltrate uh, PlayStation? That's what I'm talking about, baby! Oh, yes! So salty! <laughs> it feels like Xbox devs. Whoa. Okay, so it's a game about Xbox versus PlayStation. The others are Xbox. Ah, I get it now. The others are Xbox. And the blue is PlayStation. Ah. Genius. I didn't see it at first. Honestly, no one could tune into Lucas and take him serious. All he talks about when he watches anything to do with PlayStation is talk about Xbox. Right, you're running away from Xbox. See, you gotta attack Xbox. Interesting. Humanity, see the little triangle? It's PlayStation versus Net Xbox. Interesting. Gotcha. Okay. He is probably trolling, but there must be a small bit in his mind that truly believes that that's what this game is about. Otherwise, why would he say it? I'm sure he does this on purpose just to make us all laugh at him. You're kind of intense with the band stuff. Okay, the so band Xbox is important. Xbox devs have why did definitely she have infiltrated. To just leave? I said it was an emergency. You Xbox did, players are absolutely is. freaking heinous. You. you guys are so salty that you infiltrated PlayStation and try to give us these games. What in God's holy name are you blathering about? One eternity later. You've disappointed enough. You've disappointed enough. We're good. Thank you. PlayStation. Goodness gracious, bruh. Goodness gracious. Lord. They should have just made a Teen Titans game. They should have made literally anything besides that. The deflation and disappointment in Lucas after hyping up everything at the beginning and saying that Xbox people are going to be mad and that this show's going to poop on everything Xbox has got. It's glorious to watch. This was trash. State of State of L. I don't know what this was. Wait, didn't they say they were coming back? Why is there a black screen? Didn't they say there was more? They did say there was more, right? But, but, uh, ah. Did they not say there was more? And then they just cut it? Didn't they say that? Trash. You should stick to PC gaming, Lucas. After you tried Spider-Man, you must have seen on Steam that there was a plethora of games there that you can try out. Not just relying on Sony to bring out games for you every time. This deflation is absolutely glorious. Give me Project Eve. I'll check out Wo Long. Give me Spider-Man 2. Give me Resident Evil 4. Give me Final Fantasy 16. And I'm good, bro. That's really all I need. Everything else y'all y'all can keep, bro. You can definitely keep this shit. Definitely keep this, bro. Lord. What a pile of hot garbage, man. Just straight hot garbage. Alright, that's it. I don't even want to talk about it. I really don't even want to talk about it. And after he says that, he proceeds to talk about it for a further at least half hour. He's so mad about this state of play. And like I say, because they're relying on Sony to bring them their AAA bangers, as they say, with the greatest graphics and all that, when Sony doesn't show them what they want them to show, they get absolutely mad. Instead of playing other games that are out there, such as indie titles, there is a lot of indie titles there that are absolutely fantastic to play. 
Honestly, Resident Evil 4 was the best thing they had. Because I was like, yo, I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. I thought I, I thought my memory was like uh, uh, freaking uh, uh, fading. But apparently they're adding new stuff in the game. I was like, okay, that's cool, that's cool. This looks so bad. Out of my way. Guess Quinn ain't holding anything back for like, later. There seems to be no variety in the gameplay. Like, it's just, we're just shooting a bunch of purple freaking enemies. Oh my big guys, let's dance! Like, everyone plays the same, it looks like. He isn't wrong about Suicide Squad. It does look trash. But with Resident Evil 4, I don't know if that game actually needed a remake. I still haven't actually played through the, the original game properly. I find that the original Resident Evil 2 and 3 Nemesis and 1 remake are probably the best. Oh, and Code Veronica as well. Them games were actually fantastic. Resident Evil 4, when I played it, it just didn't vibe with me, but probably I need to play through it a bit more. I do have it on Steam. I'll probably finish it soon. Just really boom, 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 and then peak. We want to just, just more. Is this more? Is this music? More! Okay, is this, how about this? I'm personally disgusted uh, by the state of play. Uh, you gotta do better. This was unacceptable. This was unacceptable. It's as simple as that. This was unacceptable. Um, anyways, y'all. Uh, everyone take care. Uh, stay safe. This is absolute fucking trash. From this point forward, he says he wants to end it again and not talk about it anymore, but he proceeds to ramble on even further. This is, this is, this is absolutely pitiful. Okay, this was pitiful. All right. The only thing we have to look forward to, really, in this state of play was Resident Evil 4. Suicide Squad looks like hot fucking garbage. Um, hot fucking garbage. Street Fighter, yeah, sure. Um, the PSVR games, sure. Um, I get that they're pushing it due to the release, but there's nothing there that says immediate buy. There's nothing there that says immediate buy. Nothing. Like, I get the Horizon, the Horizon game, uh, they didn't even show that. Uh, everything else was... Honestly, I'm gonna stop watching the, the, the state of plays. Please don't stop watching them, Lucas. We need this. I mean, my last video and you got over 53k views, which is absolutely insane. I can't believe I got that much viewers just because your face was on the cover. Weren't the state of plays, weren't they? Didn't they used to be like big and they used to like, uh, uh, like announce like some heavy hitters from what I remember? Like state of play was big, wasn't it? Or am I tripping? I feel like state of play at one point was like big. Where they were like announcing like some serious games. State of plays in the past have shown some great games, but this one felt like padding. Anything to combat that Xbox had a great showing at the beginning of this year, and Sony had to show something. But that something wasn't worth showing at all. Naruto, yeah, Naruto. State of play was never big. I don't know, I just remember. It used to be? Okay, so it was. What happened? What happened? I mean, you took State of Play from us. You're not showing up at E3. No one's showing up at E3. I don't even know who's showing up at E3. What, fucking Nintendo? Like, my childhood is being ripped from my fucking palm. They're taking my childhood and dumping on it. Just taking a massive poop on it. Like, where are we in this world where E3 is no longer a thing? What? None of the big tech companies want to go to E3 anymore because it's a, a lot more efficient and cheaper just to make their own little showcase and put it on YouTube or Twitch that's for people to stream. It's just a lot easier and a lot more convenient for us, to be honest. We get to see more stuff that they're announcing a lot more often. E3 was a once a year event and really very lackluster. Yes, they used to show some great stuff in the past, but dead and gone now.
maybe this year they've got something to show and they could prove me wrong but honestly these little showcases that they bring out are great sometimes but this time sony just didn't bring anything great to the table i know if i'm upset i can only imagine xbox what did the xbox have what starfield you know they don't want to play starfield I'm like, I know if I'm upset, I know they must be, like, dead. Xbox players must be, like, duh, uh, uh, uh. He honestly talks more about Xbox than he does Sony. <laughs> to be fair, Xbox are eating good. All I gotta do is look on the Microsoft Store or the Xbox Store on the PC. Xbox has got a lot of games coming out. To be fair, Game Pass is loaded at the moment. The point in time where I'm upset, bruh, I mean, okay, we do have Jedi Survivor. We do have Jedi Survivor. I'm interested in that. Played the first one. Even though I don't like that they're normalizing gingers. I don't like that. Gingers have souls! I go to church. I'm a Christian. You don't know me. You're not God. <sighs> it pisses me off. Ginger people do have souls, alright? Normalizing gingers. <laughs> I can't believe it. He actually said that. Oh my god. Well, what's wrong with redheads? Gingers have been about since the beginning of time. There's like this weird trend where they're just turning characters ginger. Right? They did that with Dead Space. And it's like, why'd you turn him ginger? Why? That's like, no. That's never going to be normal. It's not going to be a thing. And the fact that they want $70 for this, eh. Don't see that happening, fam. Well, at least we can agree on one thing. $70 for any game is silly. Well, that will do it for this video, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Watching these PlayStation fanboys having a meltdown of a really piss poor performance on a state of play. It's absolutely fun and entertaining. Hopefully for you and me. This video has gone on way too long as it is. Editing this is going to be a bitch. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all to my new subscribers. If you like the content, hit the like button. Share, subscribe if you so choose to. That's it. I'm out. See you guys in the next one. Bye.